Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Ludum Dari 37. The Ludum Dari has the theme, One Room, and it's a two-part jam and compo. I'm playing games from both the jam and the compo. They have slightly different rules. One's a bit more strict. I'm playing all the games that were entered in my spreadsheet. So there are a lot of like games entered in this jam every year, every time they have one. They have a couple a year. So I'm only going to be playing the games that are entered on my list. So if you want your game to be played, enter it in the spreadsheet in the description. I'm playing each game for about a minute. Links to the individual games will be in the description, 10 per video, so you can check them out further. My favorites will be written about and an article at the end. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Mousetrap. I've already read all of the controls and everything. Because um, when you start up for the first time, it gives you a lot of uh, controls. So I set two traps, I think, because there was already one out. But yeah, these mice come through. Oh, I think it took me to where I left off. I tried recording this before, but for whatever reason, I messed up and it didn't record. Um, you are exterminating mice, but the mice come and poop everywhere and basically create flies. And then the flies make you unhealthy because... Ugh. Health. And poop also makes you unhealthy. Alright. But you can make it, you can uh, use air freshener to make yourself a bit more healthy. Um, we need to get some more cheese, probably another trap. Okay. Little red mouse pooping everywhere. And then you broom. Ugh. They die so viciously. That's a pretty simple game, but it's nicely made. Set trap. Place cheese. Turn off the light. And watch the mouse come. Bam. Cool. Next. We're playing Super Jump. This game's also available for Android. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Oh, wait. No, I didn't quite make it. This is quite challenging. I like how simple everything looks. It looks simple, but very, very nice. That wall will kind of even us out. Gotcha. Nope. Even us back out. Ooh. Nope, fell. It's <laughs> quite fun. Nope. It's really hard when you start out with a small platform. Also fell. Or you start off with a big platform. Nope. Next. We're playing Feather Gladiator. You, you handsome devil. These jerks will try to kill you. Kill these. They spawn monsters until you do. Alright, move. Jump dust. Shield. Should have used my shield. Ah. Nope. Skeleton, go away. I like how I'm literally killing them with dust. Ah, there we go. trying until they die. I want to kind of kill the spawners first. Alright, there we go. I thought I had my shield up, Mr. Skeleton. Gotcha. Alright, eventually there's a shop I think that you can buy stuff from. Very nicely made game. Bam. Still not at the shop yet. Though. These ones that are in the air are a bit harder to kill. Are they? Aren't they? I think so. I think so. Ah, oh, I died. Next. We're playing this one room. Oh wow, her character looks really cool. Good morning, friends. Yeah, good morning. Oh, what in the name of Fleck is this, Feck? If that didn't catch you off guard, I'll explain the situation. I'm 
this music. I'm Rez Artaga, and the girl beside me is Mary Natalie Velasco. And right now, we're inside this unknown room. For those pervs out there who may be playing this, let it be known that the story I'll be telling will have no freaking sexual content at all. Got it memorized? And to those who think this will be one of those clint cliche mystery trapped in a room stories we've all been bored to death of, you're sorely mistaken. Anyway, somehow our memories before this very moment happen to be too hazy, too hazy enough for us to be diagnosed with retrograde amnesia. We certainly know each other's names, but what exactly are we to each other? Ugh. Yep, we're hitting the head with that dang amnesia. If this goes on every 13 hours... Oh wait, wrong visual novel. Since I'm still shocked by the situation we're in, I frantically run towards the only door in this room attempting to open it. Cut it out, friends. This door's locked from both the outside and the inside. Don't know why it's been that way. Yeah, and? Even this Terrence ter ter door is sealed shut. If I couldn't open it, there's no way you could either. And forget about finding air vents we could climb into. There aren't any of these here. Ugh. But then, the possibility of being suffocated by the lack of air due to this room being locked down to the core has been debunked. There's a split type air con here to provide us with clean and cool breathing air. So after breathing a sigh of relief, I'll tell her. So then, we're stuck here in this one room. We don't know where exactly we are, and the GPS is in our phone is unreliable. So what do we do now? Wait in vain? Actually, there's plenty of things to do here in this room. Look, it's fully stocked with all this stuff we can preoccupy with. Oh man, the shock I, I made me forget that this room is freaking awesome. But then there's some rumbling out of my tummy. Crud, I'm hungry. Me too. I'll check my watch. It's already 10 a.m. Perfect time for a brunch. As And as luck would have it, the room's cupboards are filled with all sorts of food and portable cooking equipment. The amount of food stored in these cupboards, by my modest estimate, can feed us both for an entire week. Well, if someone has to cook for the both of us, it's going to be you. I know how to cook, but I'm currently too lazy to do it. Fine. Alright, this seems like a charming little game. It's quite well written. I like the main character. I wish they had time to do two so we could see both of their faces, but you know, it's pretty interesting. It's not going to be like a breaking out of the room game, so I wonder what's going to happen, really. Next. We're playing the Chinese room. Alright, localization. The lo localize? The Tridad's HQ. Locate? Might be locate. Learn about the triad's plan, steal the garnet lure, find out about Dragonhood's identity, get out alive. Alright, so this game uses a keyboard. That looks like walking. Grabbing, walking. Music. Do not touch that button. Okay, well I'm gonna touch it. Am I dead? No, I definitely died. There's no lights in this room. Oh, there we go. Okay. Greetings, UG. Oh. Don't act so shocked. I think I need to keep beating my heart, though. If a dragon head can't invite her straw sandal, uh, relax, take a deep breath. I must confess, when some uh, blues lantern told me they saw you in Sings Hungry, I didn't believe them. I might even have had one of two of them executed. Oh, what's going on? Everyone thought you were dead. Curious. Could have been. Could have all my twenty-fives been wrong? Yes. Useless. Uh, no, you wouldn't lie to me. Nope, I wouldn't lie to you. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep myself alive. But let's speak with an empty... Okay, so we need to eat. Okay. Don't even... How do I eat? You know, I thought about poisoning this food. Disgusting. Have you lost your manners? I thought you wouldn't fall for a tr cheap trick like that. That's a lot to remember. Ha, ah, wrong again. Oh, poor boy. Don't cry. <laughs> Just messing with you. This is a really interesting game. It's, like, made very well for now. You know, I've heard a lot of crazy stories about the internal flame. Uh, some say they inject parasites in corpse to take over their brains. Others say they implant chips in their spines to control them remotely. 
like a robot made of flesh. Tell me. You're not a robot, are you? No. Of course not. You look pale. But again, I guess that's what a robot would say. A robot wouldn't need to concentrate this much on breathing. <laughs> Next. We're playing Flipper. Find the jewel. I see the jewel by flinging yourself. Ooh. I found the jewel. I need to just get to it, though. Ooh, I kind of stuck. I kind of want to hit the ceiling, don't I? How do I do this? Alright, so arrow keys. Jump. Hook. Jump hook. Alright, so maybe I need to jump off here. This is a very challenging game already. Hmm. Alright, I've read the tips now. What? It's not letting me like... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So we can't quite reach there. We want to kind of throw it off diagonally, I'd guess. And then once we have it attached to the wall, I feel like it's a bit slow, the grappling hook. It's like a press C, a press C, there we go. Bam! Oh, we can grab onto the wall. That's a smarter idea. Pressing C, pressing C, nothing's happening. There we go, but it kind of went up sideways. I'm not sure why some of the time the grappling hook doesn't come out. There's like a cooldown on it. Let's see the other button for hook K. Yeah, that's not working either. Weird. It seems like a really interesting concept. I'm just not sure why. Does the hook only come out? Oh, that was perfect. See, now it's not, though. Now it's not coming out. Ugh. Nope. That didn't work. There we go. Alright. Just takes a bit of a learning curve, maybe. Oh. That's cool. Nope. That's death. I'm invisible. <laughs> Next. We're playing Fear and Freedom. Arrow keys to move, space or up arrow to jump, or continue text, blah blah, and it play. Okay. It's been several months since my imprisonment. It's for the best, though. I'm far too dangerous to be in the world. Oh, not sure about all that. Hmm. I pressed the... Okay. Uh, it's actually entered to continue text. This place can't hold us forever. My only regret is leaving my wife behind. I recently received word of her struggles. I wish I could be there. I wish I could help. I wish I, I would only make things worse. You're not strong enough away, but with me, you can be. Let us out. Then we can help your wife. Silence, beast, even if you took hold of me, you'll never escape. Crap, what are you saying? The roof caved in. I need to fix that before it's too late. Okay. So I am myself. Ooh, please, beast, you are too dangerous to people. For everyone's sake, we must both stay here. Ooh. Nonsense. Look how well we work together. With me, those who are hurting your wife will be of no concern. So I have, like, an evil side of me. And a not so evil side of me, I guess. And I'm trying to lock away the evil side. The evil side is kind of better at some things. No, I can't control you. Like, you know, jumping. However, he's too heavy for some platforms. Then let me go. Don't need a little weakling like you. Ugh. Okay. Need to watch out for roof spikes. Nope. It's a pretty interesting story that's happening between each level. I like how each level we do switch between the beast and the, the regular guy. Ooh, that's not very good. Ooh. I'm very, very fast, so this area is kind of hard. Kind of hard, it is hard. Let's wait. Nope. Didn't wait long enough. The platform doesn't come that far off the ground. Ugh. Ah, oh. darn it. Okay, that must be a checkpoint. Good. What did you do? I didn't do anything. You've always been part of me. How could we be separated? We're still tethered, but perhaps if I can make it out before you, I can finally be free. No. 
Ooh, they're separate now. That adds even more challenge to this game. What if I don't let the monster up? Oh, I kind of need him up. Ugh, I fell. Hmm. Need to get this guy up. It's kind of a weird going back and forth trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. So I obviously don't want the monster to win, I don't think, but uh, it's very difficult. Next. We're playing the sorting room. Hello, you live? Oh wait, I forgot to activate your language module. There, you should be able to reply now. Hi. Hello. Would you like to name yourself? No thanks. That's fine, I guess. Do you know what you are? No. You are a sorting algorithm? From my perception or perspective, all you do is shift ones and zeros, but you're equipped with a heavy visual a way of visualizing that. Your job is to defend your core from incoming data. To do this, you have sectors and collect and collectors at your disposal. The black circle you, you see the center of your core. This is a sector. Right now you only have one, but later you'll get more. To move, you press A or D. By pressing S, you can pick up or drop your collectors. Each collector can only store one type of data at a time. Catching data with a collector increases your efficiency points. Gathering two of the same types of data resets the collector and earns you extra efficiency points. If you catch all of the wrong type, all right, your collector gets destroyed. If you let data get to your core, the whole lane gets blocked. Are you ready to sort? Yes. Great. If you reach 1,000 fishing points, I'll give you another sector. All right. Oh, I couldn't place it down. I can't go around this one that this yellow dot when I'm holding something, I guess. What? So, I guess, like, this one's already a yellow one. So, we kind of want to pick it up and place it down. And then it got reset. So, we just need to uh, place them down and make sure they collect ones of the same color. That's not good, because that one kind of died. Well, I can also hold it. Alright. Yay. That lane's kind of broken. Nope. Nope. Darn it, this is a very challenging game. It's really cool, though. Next. We're playing Cyborg Ninja Training Room. WSD to move, left mouse button, right mouse button, got it. Okay. That was cool. Lit on fire. Bam! Oh, so I've only got like a certain amount of charge basically to use. Because I'm a cyborg ninja. A pretty simple but well made game so far. What's this? Oh, just something in the room? Oh. Something in the room that shoots fire. Oh, he shot fire at me. I died. I'm going to shoot you from afar. Ooh. Awesome. At least it didn't make me restart all the way from the beginning. Or maybe it did, but just with new enemies because there were these fire enemies which weren't in the first room. Bam. Cool. The animation's really nice. Next. We're playing Servidae, I think. Probably didn't say it correctly. Let's answer the phone in this weird, creaky room. Okay. Now we're like outside. Yeah, it's light candles. Bye, dear. Sure. Ooh, that's a weird noise. Now we're definitely outside. Okay. Oh, pump water brings us back here. Look forward to here. The phone's ringing again, so let's get back to the phone. Pump the water, unlight the candles, that'll go backwards, and 
answer the phone. Nope. It's like unbuilding our house, which is pretty cool with the snow effect. Let's kill the stag, even though I don't really want to. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Oh. Sell to the fawn. Ah, oh, stag's really rotted. Wind the clock? Mm, sure. It's a very mysterious and interesting game. I very much like the graphics. Next.